everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some cold temps for the Texas Longhorns and the Tigers of Missouri. We're about halfway through the season, and these two Big 12 teams are ready to get it on. And here come the Tigers. The Longhorns are favored to win this game, but I think anything can happen today. Kirk, your thoughts? Texas is led offensively by their quarterback, and he's the number one reason why I'm picking them to win this game. I look for him to spread this defense out and attack them from every direction. Big game today by the quarterback. I like it, Kirk. That's an excellent pick. Don't mess the picture. The Longhorns are going to win. Well, the captains are heading to midfield, so let's head down for the coin toss. McCoy drops back. He throws it. He's on the run. Jackson with the tackle at the 36. You know, it's really easy to overlook those receivers. They'll go with the run once again. And he's taken down at the 23. So they keep it on the ground, and they get their third. McCoy back to throw. He steps up. Let's it fly. He's tackled at the 7. That one worked pretty well. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. Zone here as they come out of the eye formation. Touchdown, Texas! Not much trouble getting in on that one. Yeah, the running back just ran right through the opening, almost like a truck driving down the highway. Watch out. <laughs> Surveys the field. Throws it to the outside. And he brings it down. Now that's what... Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. He catches another one. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Set up in the gun. Looking to throw. He's looking. He chucks it downfield. Got it. And they bring him down. Oh, man. What a throw. What a play. They were awful lucky, sweetheart. I'll tell you what, folks. After three consecutive third down conversions, I'd say they were awful clutch. He steps up, looking. He's got all day. End zone! Catches it. And down he goes at the five-yard line. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now, sometimes you have to. You've got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra. The kick is up. They block it. The defense broke through and was able to get a hand on that kick. Yeah, Kirk. Block kicks always get your team fired up. Now, let's see if the offense can get some of that momentum to move the football. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Texas 7, Missouri nothing. Breaks one. Jukmu. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Rolls to the right, zips it right. His receiver has it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. The defense left field. First down, look at the throw. He steps up, and it's going the other way. To the 20, to the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. Oh, that's a quarterback's worst nightmare. Don't remind me, coach, but I really think that was a great defensive play. He made a nice jump on the ball and took it to the house. Boy, drops to throw. Down the middle. Got it to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. A 
another run. Prince brings him down at the 28. Rolls right, surveys the field. He decides to run with it. And he's taken down at the 11-yard line. How about that conversion? Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guy come out in the eighth formation. McCoy, hands off. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. Mason. Touchdown, Texas! And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. Yeah, he's really finding his way into the end zone. He's off to a great start. I didn't see the part where he's supposed to tuck it away. I'm sure he'll hear all about that in practice from his coaches and teammates. This group of receivers is a competitive bunch. They don't let each other get away with mistakes like that. Lucky for him, the offense recovered at that time. First down, look at the throw. McCoy lets it go, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 47. Nice little pitch and catch with a wide out. Quarterback. McCoy back to throw. Looking, he throws. And he's tackled at the 35. He drops back. He's going left. Another catch. And down he goes at the 23. So they find their wide out for a big. It's up. And it splits the uprights. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is Texas 17, Missouri 7. Shotgun set. He's looking to pass. He looks, rifles it over the middle, and it's picked off. He just Tackle made at the 29-yard line. The linebacker comes down with the INT. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. Even for a receiver, that would have been a tough catch to make. Ace formation. He delivers. And he pulls it down. He's all the way. Touchdown. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy swinging the ball all over the field out there. Snap. Nobody was fighting on that one. They were all over it, Kirk. That shows how well coached these guys are, and they did their work. And... Fakes to the back. He rolls out to the right. Let's it fly. Got him again. And he's taken down at the 27. Well, that was one of the best catches we've seen all day, guys. Great concentration to go up and get that one. And more important was six defensive backs. Rolling out to the right side. Looking. Throws a ball. Complete. And he's tackled. At the 16-yard line. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. Not showing three wide. They'll throw on first down. Into coverage, and the defense has it. He's tackled at the 18. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. It looks like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. He's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. Got it to his receiver. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Rolls to the right. Throws it to the outside. And he's got him again. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarter three wide receivers. Rolls right. Looks. He throws it. He gets another, and this is a big one. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line. With that pass, they pick up another first down. And coach, you can feel the momentum building with each first down in this drive. Yep, this offense is in pretty good rhythm right now receivers drops back on first down he looks incomplete pass a flag came out after the ball was thrown let's see what this is first of
The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's bad for your team. Drops back to pass. He rolls out to the right. End zone! And he is drilled at the three. That little handoff. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. Yeah, the pack needs to give credit to that offensive line for that one. They created the space for him to run through. McCoy drops to throw. He fires this one. The 50 at the 40. He's all the way down to the 33. Did you see how fast that kid is? Barely. He was like a blur running past those defenders. That speed alone. Lines up with three receivers. He drops back. He throws it. Got it to his receiver. So he drags his feet and picks up the first down. This wasn't the best pass we've ever seen from this quarterback, but his receiver certainly could have saved him. McCoy on play action. Rolling out to the right side. And now he's going to run. Wow, now that is what I call a big-time play. And here's why he was forced to make that play, Brad. First of all, he had no help from his receivers. No one could get open. And secondly, uh, and secondly, sorry, Coach, but he didn't have much pass protection. He had to scramble out of the pocket and make something. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Texas 31, Missouri 14. Look at the throw. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. And he's got him on the run. The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. Five receivers lined up here. Back to pass. Looks. He's rolling right. And he's going to come up with a sack. The protection just broke down there. I'll tell you, though, Kirk, it's hard to keep this end away from the quarterback. Uh, they're going to have to. Otherwise, this quarterback's going to get drilled up. They need this pass. Looking. And he's hit as he throws. He makes a diving catch. Unbelievable. Well, these guys aren't going belly up yet. That's a big throw and catch. And I think it sparked some life into this offense. I know this is a three-possession game, but we've seen bigger comebacks than this. Yeah, remember when Miami came back from 23 down in the third quarter to beat the Gators? Yeah, was that? Line up with a single setback to you. Rolls to the right. He looks. Throws. Whoa, he just took a lick. So they go to the air, and they pick up yet another first down. They've shown no problems moving the ball in this drive. This offense is moving the ball. Washington will run it again. They'll knock him down for a loss. Nowhere to go on that play, Coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Sacked. And they'll turn it over. They stop them on fourth down. You talk about huge plays. This defense stood tall and shut them down. McCoy drops back. Throws it out there. This is man in stride. And he's taken down at the 27th. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. Yeah, this quarterback is very good at... Lines up in a shotgun set. On the delay. Jackson tackles him at the 45. Line up with two tight ends. McCoy hands off. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. That run gives him the first down. You know, in the media conference a couple of days ago, the coach talked about how important it was for them to... Longhorn. Come out the shotgun. Johnson on the run. And he's tackled at the 31. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. With that kick, Kirk, I... And that's the end of the ball game. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Missouri probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, thanks for tuning in to our game. Our final score, Texas 34, Missouri 14. A special thanks goes out to everyone at EA Sports. It's been a pleasure bringing you this game.